Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. We are over here in Foxborough for the Foxborough JC's second annual car show. We hopefully have a nice day where it's not gonna rain. We're gonna get a great turnout. We're gonna get an awesome group of people. Really big shout out to these folks. Again, all the money that goes to this show goes to local causes, so they're doing a lot uh, for the community, which is awesome. We always wanna be part of that. This is gonna be a great show today. So next year, if you haven't got a chance to come out this year, we'd want everyone to come back out. You know, my whole goal with a lot of these videos is to kind of expose some of these smaller shows and clubs that do a great job in their local communities of being part of what the community is all about. And this is one of those great shows. So I hope to shoot a lot for you. I'm gonna be judging today, so I don't know how deep I'll get into some of the show, but I should be able to get into quite a bit. Last year they had around 100 cars. I'm hoping they have as good a turnout. You can see right now it is beautiful, but we are expecting rain early afternoon. And I know that scares some people off, especially if you're coming to a car show and you, you, know, you don't want to get your, your show car all wet and that can be tough. So we hopefully we get a good turnout and it kicks ass and we'll go around and we'll shoot some video of everything today. What's pretty cool too is this whole area is going to get blocked off by the town, which I love that they're doing that for these guys. That's awesome. You've got the setup here. The local businesses are out to support this as well. So we'll get a quick view of what the show field looks like right now before we get anyone on there. We've got some local music playing. Um, again, this is just, again, a ton of fun. So I'm very excited to be out here today and share this show with you. I'm going to go and shoot my first guy. I was just talking to a gentleman who's a Vietnam vet. Really good dude. I'm going to shoot his truck and then we'll come back around and we'll get some more content as the day goes along. All right, guys, so the first car we're gonna shoot today is this 1963 Dodge. It's a military truck. I was talking to the owner, like really great guy, Vietnam veteran, uh, worked as a door gunner in Vietnam on the Huey helicopters. I was an M60 gunner, so kind of knowing that history, we had a great conversation, but these are always cool. This one's pretty neat. It has a ton of the, um, you know, the stuff that would have come with the truck back then. You've got your jerry can. Um, you know, you've got your lights up front, one of the rockets they would have used back in the day. So it's always neat to see some of these military vehicles. And again, feeling great, you know, getting a chance to talk to a great fellow veteran and uh, all the support in the world for me to any of the Vietnam guys. I got a chance to spend some time in Panama and it was rough. Like just spending time in the jungle was brutal. So just thank you. Really cool truck, super period correct, all the accessories, all the stuff that came with it. So really cool. It has to all see. the different collectible. I shot some of this before it was all set up, but this is awesome. Yeah. All the Which bayonets, this is very cool. Wow. Did they polish it? Amazing. So cool. All right, guys, we're starting to get some cars coming in. We saw this Monty at the La Salette show. I was talking to the owner. It is, I like the car, you know I do. He's got some really other cool cars too, but this is one of my favorites. And I talked about that. I love the fact you can just get in and drive this car and it looks great in the hot rod black with the red wheels, just a cool car. Really nice, more factory Monty right next to it. This one's really clean in the red, good looking car. Um, you know, again, always like that gentleman sports car, always think the Monty's great looking cream color 442 convertible. There was a Boss 302 next to me that looked awesome. Now it looks like it was in, memory, um, in memoriam of somebody. So we'll go over and shoot that. So that's pretty cool. Obviously my Fox right next to it. We know this Fox, this is the show. Um, this is one of the founders of the Massachusetts Car Club. He is uh, his four cylinder 93, really super clean. I love the 10 hole wheels. We got a cool 74 Volkswagen dune buggy on a Beetle chassis with the Keystone Classics. Great looking hot rod right here. So 32 Ford, three window, great color. Love the wheels, looks awesome with the big and littles. Plus he's a Vietnam veteran, so thank you for your service, sir. Looks great. We've got a good looking dune buggy here. So again, I think I probably had another uh, VW chassis. Yep, so always cool looking. No, you're good. Um, you know, these are always kind of that classic style. This one looks great. Like the top on it, good looking style. We have a, um, we have a 65 Sunbeam and we were talking, it's an Alpine, so it's the four cylinder. Gentleman's owner for a couple of years. He's a Mustang guy, he's had a bunch. This is the four cylinder with the 13 inch mag wheels. Did like 200 hours of body work on it. Looks great. We've got a, a mid 60s Plymouth Fury with a Hemi. Uh, good looking car in the convertible with the silver with the three two barrels. We've got a 70 or 71. Oh, I'm sorry, 68. 68 GTO in the green. Great color, this is always one of the better colors on the GTOs, I think this is the right color for that. 68 442 again, I always talk about these, they have the separate headlights, a little different, like this car quite a bit, I think it's great looking in the white, in the convertible. 2004 
Mystachrome Cobra, really good looking SN95, so that's the GT 4.6. It's probably like a 98 in the purple, 96 in the purple. He did a purple interior, it looks really good. We'll get back around and we'll shoot the, um, the main street in a little bit once we get some more cars in there, but I want to hit the cars in this little side lot first. All right, guys, I'm going to go a little more into the 94 uh, Mr. Chrome. So everybody knows this car, 390 horse, 390 foot pounds of torque, Mr. Chrome convertible, limited edition. So they only made this car the one year. I'll tell you a really crazy story on Mr. Chrome. One guy just paid Ford $200,000 to make a Mr. Chrome Ford GT and be the only one that ever has the new Ford GT in the Mr. Chrome. So Ford went back to this color, but this was like kind of the final send off for the Terminator Mustangs before the new models came out. So the, the ultimate SN95, you know, you had the, the 2000 Cobra R, but they only made 300 of those. This was the answer. So in 99, 2000, Ford caught a lot, of, a lot of grief because they were advertising the horsepower in the Cobra as like 320 horse, and they were dynoing significantly less. So Ford said this had 390 with the supercharger. And when they put on the dyno, they had way more horsepower. The coolest thing on the Mr. Chrome, obviously you had the Cobra wheels, the Mr. Chrome paint, but you also had the Mr. Chrome interior. So you had the seats that were also the color changing seats. And this was only available in a six speed independent rear suspension, which was the only Ford at the time that had it. And you can see the color change as we go across is phenomenal. It goes from like a green to a blue to a purple, beautiful car. The Mr. Chromes were absolutely phenomenal, one year only. And like I said, somebody just spent like $200,000 to have the one and only Mr. Chrome Ford GT, which is so cool as well. So beautiful car, always one of my favorites I wanna share up here. All right, guys, so 91 Mustang convertible, uh, beautiful car. I got to get my hood to look, uh, under my hood to look as good as his does. This thing always looks great with the pony wheels, the white, the red, you've seen it. This is the 72 we shared quite a bit at at Bass uh, last show. So we talked a lot about this. We went a lot deeper into it. Again, super nice people. This car is really good looking in the white, in the red. We've got a Challenger TA392. One of my favorite cars I ever owned was my 2012, and I kind of regret getting rid of it. I think it's a great car. This car looks great with the more updated wheels. This is a good looking car as well. Beautiful 60. I want to say a 69, but it might be a 68. It is a 69, so my favorite body style on the Chevelles. Love this car. Always wanted one. So one of my all-time favorite cars, 69 Chevelle. The person that owns is a veteran, so thank you for your service, sir. But I'm gonna go around this one a little bit because he has kind of the factory correct wheels, which look great on here. Uh, we'll see if it's at a four speed. So it's, uh, it is an automatic, but he's got the, um, like a B&M shifter in it. Silver and black with the black racing stripes. Like I said, my favorite body style, probably one of the cars I always wanted to get, 69 Chevelle. Love the color in the black and silver. Looks great, great looking car. We talk about these T-Birds a lot, and again, this generation of T-Bird does not get enough love, and I don't know why. I think they're great looking cars. This is a 61. You can get like 60 to 65 for relatively reasonable money on the Thunderbirds, and they're such a cool style. I mean, you look at the length of this, the lines, everything is just great on this car. And again, I don't know why it doesn't get enough love. It's actually also a comfortable car. It's quick. Some of these had 390s in them. Like, you can do a ton with these cars, and they were great. We've seen this Fastback a bunch of times with the big motor, no hood, the big wheels, beautiful car here. Great looking hot rod right next to us, probably like a 32 with the big and littles. We've got an Acura right here, kind of a cool color in this chrome color that I haven't seen a lot of before, so very cool looking. Someone was asking when you came in, like, is this the Karate Kid, right? Is Daniel LaRusso here? Because we have this 40s Ford. I want to say it's like a 40, so it's a 46, 46 Ford in the yellow. Great looking car uh, with the orange hubcaps. These guys next to us are very questionable, but they're good. They're, I guess they're okay. We'll, we'll let them be in the video. Uh, we know all these folks from Endicott. They're part of the judges. They help us a ton. He's won a ton of awards with this car. Always very cool. Um, we got a couple of Jags next to us. Um, you know, a couple, we got the more sporty version, kind of the more luxury version. Another Thunderbird. Again, big fan of the Thunderbirds. Great looking cars. We shot these two Monty's earlier, they just moved over, so I wanted on these guys again. I already had over on them, and we'll go back and see if we find anything it's else. so cool, like it's stupid fast, 1,000 horsepower, weighs 8,000 pounds legitimately. It's like ridiculous, and it does like 0 to 60 in like 3.5 seconds for a giant SUV, which is nuts here. It's a 54 Chevy. towing a 37 Austin, both very cool. 
we missed, we had a couple of cool kit cars come in. This one came in, twin turbo. It's a factory five car. Uh, looks really cool with the uh, silver paint, the black hood, side pipe exhaust, the twin turbo setup. This thing's pretty awesome right here. The Spider GT, they only made like 39 of them. Yep, very, very cool car. We got a Solstice that came in. We have this really nice 442 that it came in as well. Really good looking car in the white and blue. And then we had these couple of cool old trucks that had come in here. So we had like a 93 GMC in white, kind of a little rest of mod truck. And then we had this kind of 50s panel van GMC. Might be a Suburban. So 52 sedan delivery and that cream paint looks awesome. This had this a really cool ghost flame paint if you can't see it. And then we got this really neat 42 World War II Jeep that had come in as well. So that was kind of the rest of the cars that come in. You know, it was an interesting day because of the weather. We weren't sure what the turnout was gonna be, but there is some cool stuff up here. So yeah, a lot of really cool cars. Guys, we shot this at Bass too. This is the last car I've seen come in 70, 74, 72, okay, thank you. 72, 429, we shot this at Bass a couple of times. I like the wheels on it in that light blue. More cars come in, this really good looking Falcon Futura in red, convertible, beautiful car. Love the hubcaps. The, um, the paint is great on the car. Chrome looks really nice, really good looking car. We had another, uh, I don't know if it's a Super B or a, you know, a Scat Pack, it looks like, on the orange. Good looking car too on the Challenger. Get this, we shot this earlier, but the paint's really popping on it right now in that time. Had a Raptor pop into here that we didn't see that little earlier. Uh, always a cool truck. We had a Cadillac come in. Uh, I like the Caddies, the big, the big giant Caddies are fun. So that's a cool car. And then we had this little like 80s Toyota Celica GT come in, which is actually pretty nice for the year. A couple of spots in the paint that aren't great, but it's still nice for the year. And this is something that's pretty original, it's pretty cool. So yeah, a couple more cars that come in that we wanted to kind of shoot here. Guys, this was our best in show car this year. It was a 1946 Ford Super Deluxe in yellow, wide white walls, orange tires, black top, beautiful interior, really nice clean looking car. We all kind of got together on the judges the same side of this was kind of the best car in the show today for a couple of reasons. One, there's a lot of nice cars here today, but the originality, uh, the style, the body lines, everything was really, really nice on this car. So we wanted to recognize it as the best in show. And you know, it's funny if you see this, there was a lot of like, hey, the Karate Kid car, a lot of that kind of came up in there. So people had a lot of fun with it, but this car was best in show. Uh, I think we made a great choice. I think it's beautiful. The colors are great. And again, I talk about this all the time. Like just look at the style and the color and the difference on what you have to this compared to some of the newer cars. Really, really nice car. So congratulations on best in show. Right. You know, I felt these guys, uh, Foxborough the JCs, ladies. they are super generous for their time and don donating stuff to the community, taking care of folks. Uh, it was a nice turnout. This was their Tyler second show. Let's get out next year for another Tyler show. Let's get some more folks out here. They're super nice people. We had a nice turnout. We had all the cars on Main Street. It was great. It was a lot of fun. Um, you know, we'll see what the, you know, I get a chance to judge today with a bunch of the guys from the local clubs. Um, you know, I didn't judge my own car. We are going to get a trophy, but I had other people judging it. But uh, we had some nice cars out there. So we had a lot of fun today. Uh, please, you know, get a chance, follow the channel. Again, great group of folks. Just support them if you can. They're trying to do stuff for the local turn at, you know, uh, town. Thank you for the Foxborough Police and the town for supporting us and letting us do the show today. Had a great conversation with a young Marine recruiter who was a good dude. Talked to a lot of awesome veterans today. So just what a fun day it was. Um, thank you to everybody. We should be at Bass on Thursday night and providing everything goes smoothly at work this week and we get home and everything's good weather-wise. Uh, with that, that's it, guys. If you haven't done it so far, please hit the like and subscribe button and we will talk to you really soon. Thank you, guys.